What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at how to achieve a pretty convincing dried on dart effect using a ridiculously easy process that anyone can do. I have this little soldier bloke here and I want to add something to it so that he looks more like he belongs on the base. Right now he looks like he's just been plopped on there so we need to fix that. Notice I haven't bothered to highlight the shoes at all, I've just blocked them in with black. You don't need to highlight them with this technique, so it's pretty useful if you don't like painting feet. What we're going to do is take some Games Workshop Scrag Brown and just add a couple drops of water to it, thinning it down to a glaze consistency so that it's essentially coloured water. However, we're not going to use it like a glaze. Instead, we're going to load up our brush and just splat it onto the shoes, allowing the glaze to pool on the surface. Be quite liberal with it, you're essentially using this a lot like a wash, so don't worry about it pooling, you actually want that to happen. Usually when you're working with glazes, you need to be really careful and use hardly any so that it doesn't dry with any stains, but here we actually want it to stain, so don't be scared, just ladle it on there. I'm using Scrag Brown for this because that's the colour that I painted the base with, so when you're doing this effect, use whatever colour you used on the base. For example, if you painted the dirt with Steel Legion Drab, you'd use that in the shoes as well. Once that dries, it's going to leave you with this interesting patchy, messed up surface that actually simulates muddy shoes surprisingly well. You could stop there if you like, but I'll go a bit further and use the same process on the bottom of the trousers just to dirty them up a bit. So again, we're going to load our brush with the glaze and just apply it near the bottom of the trouser leg, going all the way around. Then we'll grab a second clean damp brush and with a back and forth motion we'll draw the edge of the glaze upwards. Just by placing the brush into the edge of the glaze and then drawing the brush upwards as we maintain that back and forth motion. Because as the glaze mixes with the moisture on the brush it gets thinner and thinner as you move the brush upwards. Remember this is meant to simulate dirt so don't worry too much about getting them all smooth and perfect. Dirt is neither, so your paint job doesn't have to be. When that dries, it should look something like this. Alright guys, so I hope that gives you another weapon in your painting arsenal. It's honestly really easy to do, but it's crazy effective. I hope you try it out. A big thank you to all my generous patrons. Your support really helps to keep these tutorials rolling on. If you're not a patron, you can still help out by clicking like and leaving a comment, or even by using the affiliate link in the description box. Alright guys, so that's all for me. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks again. Bye from it.